everybody hello 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 to people out there people out here there here here over there 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 maybe people on the moon who's watching this i doubt that <laughs> anyways welcome to a new why am i talking like that cow do you know <laughs> I don't know what you just said. Anyways, I am playing Minecraft and I am in creative mode. And I do have about 80 mods installed. And I put together my own mod pack for that. It's all tech mods mostly, I think. I don't know. Anyways, so, um. What we're going to be doing with these mods is we're going to be creating a system that crafts things. But, you might ask, crafts what? Well, it crafts the things that the system is made out of. We're creating a system that crafts the things that it's made out of. So if you want to create a system, you've got to first craft what it's made out of. Next, we'll just start drafting random things we find in here. It's gonna be a lot. Huh. Anyways. Yep, we're gonna have a fun time grafting. And grafting a lot. So I hope you guys have fun with this series. See, we have like 80 mods, and if I take this away, we got. Oh, 113 pages of stuff, and I'm going to set the time today because I really need it to be. Um, and apparently we're in a desert, so let's hope that this is fine. So first off, to start, we need to make power. And to make power, we're going to be using a mod called Big Reactors. Now, I already got some stuff in my inventory. So for this, we need a power tap. Like big react, a reactor power tap, a reactor casing, a yellowium fuel rod, reactor controller rod, reactor access board, jelly cryothium, that's for cooling, and a reactor controller. Now, we won't need the jelly cryothium just yet, maybe later in creating the system, because right now, um, let's see, uh, we're um, using passive cooling, so that's one thing. Um, and, um, we're trying to make, this is the smallest reactor you can make in big reactors, so, that's what I'm doing right now. And, let's see, so, I'm just creating a tiny reactor. If you want to know how to make one of these reactors, you can search a tutorial online. There's so many on YouTube, and there you go, we have a reactor. And... Uh, Next, we're going to be creating an ME thingy, ME system that's going to be crafting all this stuff for us. So we got the power. Uh, I'm going to take the cables and some of this terminals. Uh, I don't need the reactor controller. So this is going to be the main system. I'm just going to put it over here, just because, why not? We're going to do many upgrades on this soon enough. I hope. Anyways, so we got this, and, well, now what we got to do is we got to hook this up to the reactor. Now, we forgot to, well, first of all, I'm going to make this um, in outlet mode, so it'll eject waste. I need to put fuel in this thing, so I'm going to put some fuel in there. I'm going to start up the reactor later on. I'm going to take these basic universal cables. Um, the reason I'm using basic universal cables for this is because I want to keep this crafting simple. I don't want to like go to some really complicated crafting things because, well, how am I supposed to keep that up with the system? Of the system needs to be able to craft this stuff so i'm gonna activate the reactor and uh, yep there's power in the cables and 
got this. So I'm going to put 1K again just to keep crafting simple. Uh, later on, it's going to be more. I'm going to put some MMA Smart cables here. Now, I'm just going to put an MMA Pattern Terminal, an MMA Terminal, and an Interface Terminal here. Just to make it so that you can... Um, um, like, no, what's going on? And then, later on, I'm gonna have to make some crafting monitors and stuff. You know, once we get to actually making this thing actually craft. Which is gonna be, like, about now, so. We'll wanna make this to craft something. Now, let's see if the semi-system works. We can put items in, just like that. And if you get out, whoa. Huh? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. There you go. You can take stuff out. Good, good, good. Now, of course, if you look in the interface terminal, there's nothing there to put, like, some of those blank, blank patterns in. And to make something, well, first of all, what do you want to make? What is this big reactor casing made out of? So if I look... If I press R, oh uh, wait, I gotta do that when it's in my inventory. If I press R, it's made out of iron. It's made out of graphite, which is just melting coal, and uranium. All right. So we need oh and yellowium. So it works either way. So uranium, yar, uranium, yellow. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's gonna work out, so let's see. Let's see what the big reactor power tap is made out of. Uh, whoa. Power tap? Oh, it's made out of rest redstone and reactor casing. Let's see. Basic universal cables? Is that sim simple enough? Oh, yeah, it's just steel or refined iron. I think refined iron is the easiest to make. Steel essence? Uh... Yeah, it's from industrial craft, a blast furnace. Oh wow, you can make slag. Anyways, so this is how it's gonna work now. Now I need some interfaces. Interface, 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 there you go. And right now I want, so I'm gonna move this up here. Um. So now that I got the interfaces, uh, where's my import and export buses? I don't need these right now. Alright. We've got the interfaces, and uh, let's see. How is this going to work? Um, I need the molecular assemblers, so... Mol Oh my god, Minecraft, what's going on now? Minecraft, please don't crash on me. Minecraft, oh, there you go. So, let's see. Now we're going to get a molecular assembler. Um, let Minecraft crash for a minute, and I'm going to take it out of this mode here. Just kind of needed so let's see now to create this little system thing i'm just gonna put this up here because well why not so let's see how much this thing can take so i'm gonna put one here and here and then i'm gonna take molecular assemblers and put them on all sides of the interfaces just so that we get the best out of this thing um, let's see. Now, if you look into the interface terminal, we now have two. Two little row column thingies. So, first thing, um, well, I might as well just use... Wait, so is that the only way? Let's see. Recipe. Oh. That's what. Recipe. And let's see. 
mechanism shaped pig iron and steel how do you make steel steel dust ah okay yeah the steel dust how do you make steel dust uh you crush pig iron or okay so that's how to make steel or you take enriched iron which you just take a metallurgic infuser full of coal and you get an eye and you get enriched iron apparently okay we'll try that I'm not sure if the interface can put two things in it, but we'll try. Hopefully this will work. You know, I think it'll work. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep looking at ways to make this thing. So I wanna make the pig iron. How do you make pig iron? Can you make pig iron? Pig iron flakes, uh, okay, so pig iron flake, I don't know how to make that, but all I know is how to make iron, so if I make steel, uh, no, I don't want that, uh, I just want the recipe for, why is it so hard, like, come on, or am I just making it look hard, I don't know, is it just me? Anyway, so if I put purified crushed iron ore, uh, here, wait one minute, um, All right, I'm back. I'm gonna have to cut that bit out, but anyways, so, yeah. So, let's see. So, you gotta make this, uh, uh, pig iron, uh, steel, refined iron. Okay, so, to make refined iron, I have to put in a black furnace or an induction smelter, pulverized iron with pulverized coal. Hmm. Iron dust and refined iron ingots. So, let's see, induction smelter. So, I can take an ingot. Oh, I can take sand, and that could also make slag. I don't know what slag is used for. Um, steel dust. But, no, I'm not taking steel dust for it. Okay, so I need to make that. And here, it looks like this one takes much more power <laughs> than this. Uh, you know, it should work. So I need an induction smelter. So if I take an induction smelter, induction furnace, uh, induction furnace, let's see, so I'm going to take some cable and an induction furnace, um, an ME export bus, an import bus, um, if I take these, let's see, I can connect it up like that. Network Apprentice, seriously? There's an achievement called that? How would somebody make something like that? Anyways, great, now we got the induction furnace. Now, let's see. Emmy interface. Um, yes, induction furnace. Okay, so it recognizes that that is an induction furnace, so now we can make steel. Um, I want to also add up a pulverizer, too, because that should be useful. Um, wait, I need this and this. I don't need that. Um, so I need a pulver. 
Pulverizer. Okay. Pulverizer, okay. We take... I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna take an interface there. Um... Let's see. That. And that. Okay, this works so far. Okay, now we got a pulverizer. And this is the import bus. So what I want to do is I want to make... Uh, red go up. Wait, no. I want to make this red and yellow. How do you make this? Oh, okay. That works. So orange. And then... um. Where's that? Okay, so that's the front right there. So that goes on that side. So that's not red. That's going to be blue. There you go. And I doubt I have to set that for this. Okay. So was it right when it said I can make refined iron like that? Refined iron ingot recipe? Um, uh, instead of a blast for this induction shelter, so pulverized coal and iron dust. Coal. Uh, pulverized. Pulverized coal. I need. Pulverized coal, and I need. Pulverized iron. There it is. If I put that in there and that in there. Or the other way around, I'm guessing. Uh. Whoa, what is it doing? Is it making? Its heat is at 3%, so it looks like it's going to work. Uh, let's see. Uh, it just made an iron ingot. Uh, what? Um. An induction? Induction cell. Um. Okay, what happens if you put graphite in it? Uh, let's see. So I'm going to take a lever first. So that will always keep it heating up. And it has like infinite power coming from that thingy. So now it will heat up even without the... Ooh, it looks like it's 10% depleted, but the core status is fine. Um, did it output any ingots? Nope. Dump the excess waste. Uh, port will not accept items. Port will eject. Okay, to pipes and ducts, which is fine for me. Now, an induction smelter, did it? Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, um, iron, I, iron, I'm spending a whole episode on figuring this out, this is crazy, somebody could help me out, please put what to do in the description, um, advanced machine casing, whatever that is, anyways, uh, what if I put a whole electric, Electrical steel. Why do I have electrical steel? Anyways, what happens if I put iron in there? Iron. If I put an iron ingot and put it in this thing, which you can't. And this is madness. So what am I supposed to do? How do you make refined iron? Refined iron. Refined iron. Recipe for refined iron. 
Seriously, man. So, am I going to have to use a blast furnace? So, I will now. Wait, what if I take a cell? No. Oh, so this is the cell I need. A compressed air cell. And I need an iron ingot or a purified... Okay, so what if I get a blast furnace? A blast furnace from my C2. Just get me one. There you go. I don't know what that was, but I just opened something. And... I'm gonna take the import bus here. Well, I'm just gonna put that on the top because I just wanna keep it fit with everything else. There you go. Huh? Wait a minute. Uh, oh. Oh, man. Alright. Looks like I need some. Oh, God. Okay. Add applied energy. I need some better cables than this. I'm going to use any dense cables then. Uh, this should work. Uh, this is the wrong type of blue. That is, again, the wrong type of blue. This is the type of blue I had. Cyan. Or... Uh, no, it was light blue, not cyan. What? Okay, this is getting confusing. This is light blue. There you go. There you go. Uh. Well, that's too bad. Uh, yeah, well, that's a problem. Got one there, and then I got one going where? Uh, I got one here. So I got one signal going here at the very edge. That's so crazy. I don't know what to do about this. This is madness. Okay, I really need to get this done, so. How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do this? Why does everything have to be so hard? So hard. Ah, man. Well. Now I need them import buses, uh, export buses, uh, apparently I can't do that. Export buses, oh, okay, that's, that's crazy. I can't do that. Well, I'm just gonna have to take this around then. Let's see if this works. Get away, dead bush. Let's see. Does this work? Did this work? Sure. Uh, please. I mean, interface terminal. Uh, black color assembler. Nothing. It shows up as nothing. Basic machine casing. This is a blast furnace. It's not nothing. Aw, oh, man. So, oh no, I do have blast furnace. So it can't detect the pulverizer. That means, ah, oh, bye bye pulverizer. Ah, oh, whoops. Um, let me export this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait, is that gone now? Can't I just do this? I can just do this. This, this, this. 
Uh, let me export bus, and let me import bus, and let me spark cable, and uh, nothing here. Oh yeah. This is totally working. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying this, but this. This. What? <laughs> Let's see. Alright, stuff worked. Wait, so I spent like a whole 25 minutes getting a blast furnace. Uh, advanced basic machine casing, blast furnace. I got the blast furnace. Wait, I need to compress the air silk. Compressed air silk. Compressed air silk. Compressed air silk. Six air cells required per run. Alright. Then I take some iron. Iron. Put that here. Well, I need to give it heat. Do I need to give it heat? How do I give it heat? Uh, a blast furnace. Um, iron. Find iron. Hello. How do I give it heat? Uh, does it need a lever? Do I give it lava? Uh, lava, lava bucket. I'm also gonna try some coal. No, it doesn't need power. Ah, uh, now I bet it needs power, doesn't it? Of course, like every machine here needs power. No, it does not. That does not need power. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna search this up. Um, how to? Use a IC2 blast furnace. Furnace. Blast furnace. Industrial craft wiki. Okay. Simple enough to make. Uh, let's see. How do you do this? A uh, radio isotope heat generator. Radio isotope for okay. Let me search that up. <laughs> radio so this thingy is what it said. Well, I'm gonna try this. Whatever this is. Uh, what is going on? Save and quit. Uh, let me try playing that world again. Oh, uh, did you like the name of the world? Yeah, I like the name of the world. <laughs> uh, this is a problem. I can't get out. Open to LAN. Options. Multiplayer settings. Show cape. I don't have a cape. Chat shown. Weblings on. Color da blah blah. Daddy blah. Daddy blah. 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 Well, anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here because this is going all weirdy weirdy. Yeah.
poo-foo. <laughs> I'm blowing on the microphone. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end the episode here. So, in the next episode, we'll continue by trying to get blast furnace working. I spent like a whole 30 minutes trying to get a blast furnace working. Isn't that amazing? Yep, and I got it all on video. So, bye. Bye.